Hello friends of all ages at Hamlin Church. Have you ever noticed how many times water shows up in our Bible stories? God and Jesus are always using water to tell us stories about who God is and who we are as God's people. A few weeks ago, I met with the first and second graders as we talked about baptism and the stories that unite us in water and the stories of how water is chosen, the simple thing we see every day, but when put together with words commanded by Jesus in a community like Hamlin, where we make promises, this water becomes more than just water. It becomes a sacrament that blesses us our whole life through. Now, Hamlin has taken very seriously their commitment to help raise children up in faith, to help the parents raise children up in faith. And one of the ways we do that is to celebrate these milestones, these learnings, these um, new periods in their life in community. And so we lift up these children who learned what baptism means and how it marks them and claims them as God's beloved their whole life through. When I learned about baptism, John baptized Jesus. Hi, my name is Shifra. I'm a real mermaid. And I'm seven years old and baptism is, is what means that you get promised that you're loved by, by God, you're made by God, and you are, and it's just a promise of how much care you get. Thank you. Hi, my name's Julia and what I learned in baptism was that when you put the water on your forehead, it never rubs off because it symbolizes God's love. I wonder if you can remember your own baptism or your children's baptism or a baptism that you participated in. The promises that you made to the children. We will continue these milestones and we'll be back for more celebrations within this body of Christ of who we are gathered, even virtually. As we do these milestones and we raise these children up in faith, it may look different now because of COVID um, and because time is changing. But the core of who we are as the people of faith are the same. Next Sunday at three o'clock, I will be meeting with the fourth and fifth graders as we talk about Holy Communion. And on April 18th, I will meet with the sixth graders and we'll talk about the Lord's Prayer, something so integral to who we are as a people of faith. As you see Hamlin kids out and about, lift them up and celebrate them for theirs is the kingdom of God.